Hi, I'm Jim Stevens. Um, I actually got into art because of my grandmother. Uh, and then one day I was, uh, I was working in a refinery, and the refinery took in gold sands from Alaska and uh, mammoth ivory that the miners dig up in their mining operation. And it's the only ivory that's legal to sell worldwide. And I looked at a piece one day, and I just saw a dolphin in it cresting a wave. I asked the owner if I could take it home and carve it. He said, fine. I did. Brought it in the next day, set it on his desk, and went back to work. He came in about five or six hours later and said, uh, you're fired. I said, excuse me? He said, you're also hired. Uh, he said, I showed that piece to a gallery, and they want ten more. <laughs> and that's, that's how my love affair with ivory began. I've done jewelry work, bronze work, stone work, painting and oils and acrylics. But my, my first love is the ivory that I work in. It just uh, captured me. When I get a commission, I uh, get most of my pieces that I need. Uh, and once they're here, then I work the ivory pieces to uh, the shape, if need be, uh, that the client has wanted. And it requires a lot of stabilization and care of the ivory before I get started. To do scrimshaw on a piece, though, it has to actually be thoroughly sanded, polished, you bring it to a very high polish. And scrimshaw is actually the last thing you do. The ivory is sealed by the polishing, and that keeps the ink in the uh, stippling marks that I make, and it doesn't go into the ivory anywhere else. Without a high polish, if you try to ink your work, you'll get cloudy areas in the ivory, where it goes into areas of the ivory that you really don't want it to. So it takes a lot of care getting the ivory prepared. But once you've got it ready, then you have to sit down and create the image, transfer that image then to the ivory in a way that you know, duplicates what the client has asked for. If you want it bad enough, you'll do it. And you won't quit. And I think that's, that's the biggest thing. Never quit. I have a, uh, an expression that I wrote up for myself. It's all over my studio. And it says, a man with a vision is never truly blind. <laughs>